Yeah, business owners tell me they're focused on getting back to normal, getting their doors open, while homeowners say they just want to get back to their daily routines. However, one homeowner specifically says she wouldn't even be able to get back to normal if it were not for first responders. We've never leaned on them like this before. First responders doing what they do best in a time of need. They were lifesavers. Coming to the rescue for Jane Hirsch's 101-year-old mom and 100-year-old aunt. I was in a panic because I can't lift my mother. And so I just didn't know how we were going to get her moved. Hirsch's mom has lived in this house for 93 years. Across from Colonial Lake in downtown Charleston, it's a hot spot for flooding. As Hurricane Dorian crept closer to our coast, Hirsch had to figure out how she would evacuate her mom and aunt, so she called Charleston Citizen Helpline. They had Charleston firemen meet us here at the house, and they carried my mom and aunt out one at a time. They evacuated to Mount Pleasant, and you bet. Mount Pleasant Fire showed up and did the same thing. Mount Pleasant firemen carried them from the car into the house. Both departments offering the same help Friday so they could return home. We are very beholden to the Charleston and Mount Pleasant fire, fire department. We have an incredible group of public safety professionals that are dedicated to this area. Now Hirsch and her family are working to get back to normal. Like many other homeowners and even local businesses in downtown Charleston that are reopening like Five Church. Uh, we are you know, wanting to make sure we can get a, a hot food to everyone who's, um, like I said, I'm, I'm sure a little stir crazy and, yeah. you know, wanting a little bit, uh, somewhat of a sense of normal. A goal across the low country. Hopefully back to normal, whatever <laughs> that is. <laughs> Hirsch said the house did receive a little bit of water damage due to flooding, but nothing too major. As far as the rest of downtown Charleston, crews are just working to restore power, remove some of that debris. They are asking for your patience. And of course, I do want to give a special thank you to all of the first responders out there. I'm Deanne Roberts reporting live in downtown Charleston tonight. Count on two.